Okay, so let's go. Let's give another few examples of computations of degree of field extensions. So, for example, here, uh, let's compute the degree of the extension of Q given by square root. Uh, sorry, the seventh root of sixteen plus three times the seventh root of eight over Q. So let me denote by alpha this element here, 7th root of 16 plus 3, 7th uh, of 8. And I factor out, I see that there is a, this 7th root of 2. I want to factor it out so I can rewrite these as uh, this plus 3, which multiplies. 7th root of 8. In other words, so I can write this as beta plus 3 times beta squared, where beta is the 7th root of 2. So I do this because then um, clearly alpha is a, is a combination so it's expressed, uh, if you want, as a polynomial in beta. And therefore, um, so alpha belongs to the extension of Q by this uh, seventh root of 2. So we have here Q of alpha inside Q of beta, both as extensions of Q. Now, clearly, uh, this extension here, the larger one, has degree 7. Right, since the polynomial x of 7 minus 2 is reducible over q, if you want, by the Eisenstein criterion. And therefore, we see that q of alpha, uh, so the degree of q alpha over q, is a divisor of 7. And it's certainly not 1. And therefore, we see that it has to be 7. So the two, the two uh, extensions coincide, q of alpha and q of beta, and we have computed uh, q of alpha over q equals to 7. So as a second example, let's compute the degree of the extension of q by square root of 2 plus the th uh, third root or cubic root of 5 over q. So here uh, let me call let me call alpha the element this element here and I will call uh, beta this uh, this uh, sum here so square root of 2 plus plus alpha if you want. So I want to compute the degree of the extension of Q by beta over Q. So here, first of all, we see that we have Q of alpha as an intermediate field. And clearly, Q of alpha over Q has degree 3, the usual argument, x uh, the polynomial x cubed minus 5 is reducible over q. So this, let me write it. So this means that if I consider the polynomial x squared minus 2, so the, the minimal polynomial of, of square root of 2 over q, which of, of course is irreducible over q, this stays irreducible over q of alpha. Reducible over q of alpha. For the usual argument that, well, if it were reducible, then it would have a root because it's degree 2. So it would split as two linear product of two linear forms. So it would have a root. And this root 
over q of alpha would have to be uh, an element of degree 2 but the extension q of alpha is degree 3 and 2 doesn't divide 3 so this is the usual argument this stays irreducible over q of alpha and this means that we can compute uh, a basis of uh, so we are interested in this extension here with the sum of these elements and I consider the larger extension if you want q of square root of 2 and um, cubic root of 5 which is alpha and our argument here shows that these must have degree uh, 6 3 times 2 so in particular a basis would be given by 1 uh, alpha square root of 2 alpha squared alpha square root of 2 and alpha squared square root of 2 so I have six elements and this would be a basis of q uh, square root of 2 and alpha over q so um, this is I applied the result of uh, computing uh, a basis with a, given a tower of fields which I discussed in the previous video so now what do we do um, beta which is the sum of square root of 2 and alpha then obviously it is an element that lives inside the bigger extension given by q extended by square root of 2 and alpha so we have a situation another tower situation where we have uh, q of beta as an intermediate extension yes between this and alpha and square root of 2 so and here we just what we computed so far is the degree of this which is 6 therefore what we see is that the degree of q beta which is our uh, goal what we want to compute uh, is a divisor of 6 and uh, certainly not equal to 1 therefore it can be 2 3 or 6 so the conclusion here the conclusion of this argument is that um, the degree we are aiming to compute is either 2 3 or 6 So now I claim that this is precisely 6. And I do this by showing that it cannot be uh, smaller or equal than 3. So um, by contradiction, we suppose that this is at least uh, of degree 3 uh, sorry at most sorry this degree is at most cubic so what does it mean it means that this beta will uh, be satisfied will be the root of a polynomial of uh, at most of the degree at most 3 so then means that there will be some polynomial f which I can write as a cubic possibly with the first with the coefficients of x cubed equal to zero but it will be a polynomial of this form which satisfies uh, beta so now I 
write down what this means. So uh, f of beta, I compute. So beta is our uh, element square root of 2 plus alpha. And I substitute here. And what I find is that I, so I expand this, uh, these elements. plus c uh, square root of 2 plus d and now I want to so my goal is to um, to collect to factor out to, to give this expression in terms of the element of the basis that we computed uh, in the previous page so if you rearrange these you can uh, you should be able to write this as 5a plus 2b plus d times 1, so the first element of the basis, and then the other coefficients will be 6a plus c times alpha plus b times alpha squared. So I'm writing here all the elements of the basis of the bigger extension, of the extension of degree 6 that we we computed before, so this is given by 2a plus c, uh, if I did my computation correctly, times the square root of 2, and then I have plus 2b square root of 2 alpha, so this element, I just underlie the basis elements, and then I have 3a times the square root of 2 alpha squared. So this expression, uh, for this expression to be 0, since we, we know that these elements, these six elements, form a basis, uh, then it means that all these coefficients must be 0. And so easily we get a equals 0, then b equals 0, then you substitute here, and then in the end, you find that all the coefficients must be zero and therefore this is not a zero polynomial uh, this f which is of course a contradiction to the fact that this um, degree is at most three and we conclude that degree that the claim is true and the degree is at least um, is at least it's bigger than three and therefore it is six